All right, guys, I'm just hopping on here because uh, it's a nice morning and the lighting is pretty nice. So um, I said I'd get this video done because um, eventually I wanted to do it. So what better uh, time than now? Um, so for those of you who know me, know that I deal with um, anxiety. And I actually beat my anxiety about back in... 2018 around the summer 2018 um kind of towards november i was like fully kind of good i was like yeah fucking anxiety could come but i could handle it and uh i had overcame it my sleeping was great my habits were really good my eating was really good i had lost i think like i don't know was it 10 kg or something like that um um yeah i was just exercising and i was all around good i was full of energy um so i moved to dublin and i had just amazing times in dublin because i was full of energy and i really feel like i you know yeah i got a good experience out of it but i moved back to tip anyway and we moved into a house um and then what I realized is I just started to feel really anxious in myself again. I was like, well, what's going on here? It's like, this is strange. And I was feeling really like overwhelmed and I couldn't kind of figure it out. And I kind of thought, okay, all right, my habits aren't as good anymore. You know, I'm probably slacking in ways I could probably do better. So I just said, look, hopefully with time it'll pass. And the pandemic came then and you know it was one of those things where it was like you kind of just put things down to you know oh it's the pandemic of course things would you'd feel like this and that and stuff like that but um yeah just trying everything like just to make myself feel like a lot better um anything i could exercise um vitamins you know sleeping you know whatever i could um nothing was working and so a couple of months passed and it was just getting worse and worse and what ended up happening was I ended up going away for a weekend to Cork to shoot a film and I felt really good. I just felt so amazing the whole time I was down there and then I got home that night, we got home at like 3am in the morning and I remember um, stepping in the door and I would just get a burst of anxiety straight away and the thing i guess like my anxiety i didn't even realize how bad it was it was actually i was freezing up um to the point where it was kind of like almost like a ptsd kind of anxiety like I, I would just like freeze and i would be just stuck in my head my head would have like racing thoughts and it was just really intense and you know obviously I was just like getting really frustrated this time anyway and I was looking up different things like histamine intolerances and just different things like with like my diet and stuff because uh, I felt like I had cured it through diet and sleep and exercise alone before but I was on reddit and I stumbled across this article and it said um it said something about mold toxicity and I, I just looked at it and it's just the word mold just clicked with me or something the house we were in actually had um mold on the ensuite fan um when we moved in we saw it and we were like oh yeah we'll just clean that i'm gonna paint it should be fine so yeah that's what we did we just cleaned it and uh, it kept coming back um but again it was mold i ran into uh lila and i was like oh i think it, i think what i know what's causing my anxiety i think it's the mold and like it was like it just started unraveling for me and I just started thinking of all the houses I'd been in that had mold. I was like, fuck. I looked into it a bit and I was like, right, I'll just get an allergy test. Um, Cause for me, every time I was having a shower, I was getting like extreme panic attacks and I was having like um, really bad intrusive thoughts and just, you know, gen general just fucking frustration, irritability and stuff like that. Uh, I went to Limerick, uh, ultimatehealth.ie is where I went and I got an allergy test and I had like results within like two days. I had a pretty strong allergy 
to mold. So I looked into it on Google and it turns out there's this condition called chronic inflammatory response syndrome. So it's the chemical that the mold actually releases is a mycotoxin and uh, anyone that's sensitive to mold, uh, their body will just get overloaded with this chemical and it can't break it down. It can cause a whole host of symptoms and when I was looking at the symptoms, I realized I had symptoms on it that I was just kind of like shrugging off and kind of basically putting them down to the anxiety. So I had, um, what did I have? I had chronic fatigue syndrome, I had terrible insomnia, I had, uh, what did I had? I had this horrible rash in the back of my uh, head. It's uh, really cleared now, but it was terrible. Um, I had rashes under my armpits. I had a really bad metallic taste in my mouth. Um, my nose was clogged all the time. Um, I could go to bed, have a full night's sleep, 10 o'clock till, let's say I got up the next morning. Within two hours uh, of being awake, I would feel like I'd have to go back to bed. Uh, I had no drive. I was completely anxious. I would freeze up. Uh, I had really bad uh, ADHD, OCD, um, what else yeah just a whole host of different symptoms and, and the thing with the chron uh, chronic inflammatory response syndrome is um, a it's very hard to diagnose because the symptoms will kind of wax and wane and they'll kind of be kind of more severe at other times and they won't be as severe at, at different times like I've heard of stories of like you know doctors kind of they, they'll keep treating the symptoms rather than finding the root cause and, and it's just it's crazy to think that you know mold can do this um so we moved house anyway um straight away when we found out that now on research um what it actually revealed was uh so to actually kill mold you can't <laughs> so it releases a mycotoxin and that mycotoxin can actually only be like destroyed by 550 degree Fahrenheit heat um, so that's obviously wasn't possible um, the only other thing you can do is neutralize it and to neutralize it use essential oils and um, obviously it's just it's pretty hard to to clean everything um so for us like it was by a fan um so that was carrying these mycotoxins all over the house creating a what would you say it was creating my symptoms i suppose to flare up even more so because i was obviously like firstly it was so it was actually because it was in on a fan and it was like an extractor fan it was going up into the attic i'd imagine that the whole attic was probably um just full of mycotoxins and what i realized as well when like even on my computer has a fan and it obviously got into my computer fan and when i was trying to do work it was like next to near impossible like without like this f freezing up and this severe intense anxiety um so yeah we had to move house and we had to clean absolutely everything um so we would have to leave our stuff in a shed and then clean it and then reintroduce it into the house and like some stuff i just couldn't even clean completely perfect and precise which was uh kind of disheartening because it felt like you were kind of flogging a dead horse um so we just ended up putting that in storage and just leaving it in a kind of a, a room um until i know really what to do but to heal from this you kind of just have to detox and just to but just to give you an idea like 75 percent of people are completely fine like my girlfriend had no symptoms was completely fine uh had no issues but one in four people can't break down the biotoxin and then that creates a you know chronic illness so i just wanted to get on and just to say that if anyone is having like weird random symptoms and again it can host from anything i think people get like fibromyalgia and they get like um different things like migraines and um 
pins and needles and just all these weird kind of different symptoms like there's nothing that kind of won't be there eight years of suffering through anxiety and trying to fix it and it was just living in moldy houses from like college and just different places and and you know you think nothing of mold but it's it's pretty harmful like it's after kind of switching my life upside down like I'm so fortunate to know what's actually causing my anxiety now um because if I'm not around mold I'm fine there's no anxiety there's no symptoms but if I'm around it I can feel the symptoms kind of flare up and it's pretty difficult so yeah if you're in a house and you think there could be a water damage or even if you're in a workplace and there's water damage in a building and you are struggling with anxiety or depression or any kind of weird symptoms just look into it and see because it could make a big difference to like know what's causing it i'm not saying it is what might be causing it but like for me that's what it was and i'm like i know people have went 50 years of their lives not knowing like what the fucking shit was causing this for them and like they figure out it's mold and it's like what <laughs> you know that's wild to me um yeah it's wild that like it's like you know a small invisible toxin and uh, it can create that much damage and like for me just getting this video out there right now for people just because like people could be suffering and if it's if they're anything like me where it's like it's unexplained anxiety it doesn't make sense and i just i just don't want people to be suffering really um yeah i just like for me it took eight years on and off uh, where I'd feel good and then I'd feel bad and not good and I'd feel bad but then like you know I was going around in circles really and you know to figure this out is really uh, it's just fantastic because I can actually do something about it now and another reason why I'm so eager to get this out there is that we live in Ireland like you know it's damp old houses and I've talked to some of my friends and they've been in moldy houses in college and even when I look back to when I was in college, I was literally in a house that had a water leak in the ceiling and it was I was sleeping under it, do you know what I mean? Like, And when I'd move my bed even to the other side of the room, I'd get a little bit of relief and all this stuff is now finally making sense to me. Um, but it's just wild. Um, it's been a real tough three months of just cleaning and detoxing and just trying to you know work these toxins out of my body um but again at least i know now and i can practice uh mold avoidance and hopefully i can get back to where i was at like two years ago in 2018 when i did detox um thanks for watching and i hope uh, there's some bit of information in there for you and hopefully it'll help